I've got I've got nothing for this opening. Um, I sometimes just I'm like oh, I'll be inspired, but nothing is inspiring me. So I'm just gonna show this little this little fellow. I've already showed him once. I've shown him once. Um, shown? Showed? Showed isn't a word. It's shown. Um, a little little slime from uh, Dragon Quest. Uh, that I the, the gotcha things or no this was a claw game the claw games in Japan are better than the ones we have in the states but they're still like a racket <laughs> you know they might pay out more they might pay out like well they are gambling technically but I mean they might like give you you might get more stuff in Japan than you would in the claw machines in the state but it's still like it, you're still gonna like be cheaper to just go buy the thing from somewhere. Yeah. Anyway. Hey. What's in the mail sack? It is the 6th of May. Hang in there. If some dumb kitten can do it, so can you. <laughs> That's actually very similar advice I gave to my ex uh, recently, who has been struggling um, with... Uh, she's a teacher, and apparently the students this year are driving her crazy. And I told her to hang in there. I didn't say that. I actually used a jail analogy because I had just gotten back from a touristy thing in San Francisco where I went to Alcatraz and had the Alcatraz tour. And so I was like, you know, like, uh, you know, keep your back to the wall. Don't get shivved in the yard. You know, keep your head down. Don't get thrown into solitary. You can do this. You only got like two weeks left kind of a thing. And, but yeah, no, if that stupid cat can hang in there, you can too. One package. Um, it is from Funstock. Um, and I, I don't remember what it is. It's also ripped already. Um, but it didn't rip through. It ripped through the outer part, but not the bubble wrap. So I gotta... Whatever. Alright. Um... Indie Heroes 3 and the C64 Collection um, 3. Oh man, Donut Dodo. Yeah, Donut Dodo I, I bought recently, or I bought it a while ago. I pre-ordered it for the Switch, the limited physical edition. And then when it got here, I was like, I don't remember what this is. But now I've since tried it, and it's really fun. So I'm excited to have it again on the Evercade. Um... Oh, man, there's some good stuff on here. Big Too Small is pretty good, too. Oh, it's got Skate Cat. Ah, oh, Skate Cat, I think I... Is that something I kick-started? I don't remember. Um, and then, of course, another Doodle World. I have a feeling that it's like... Doodle World has just become so ubiquitous. And it's like... It's everywhere. Anything that's going to have retro games on it is going to probably have Doodle World. Doodle World was included in my Polymega. It's like the, a stock install. Um, and then, yeah, Commodore 64 collection. Um, I was an Atari kid. I had 8-bit Atari computers. I never had a Commodore 64 as a kid. I, I do, as an adult, have a, a Commodore 128. I've got quite a few games, but, you know, the point is, is that, like, the 8-bit Atari was the, the computer of my youth. So I didn't really play a lot of the, the, the Commodore 64 games. That being said, some of these, I had Atari versions. Like Boulder Dash, obviously. Uh, Jumpman Jr. had that. Summer Games 2. 
I had some summer games ones. I don't remember which is two and which is one. I don't remember what's what. The, the, the summer games ones were like fun to play for like five minutes, but that wasn't something I ever really sit down and play a lot of. Uh, Exelon. Wait, am I getting confused with something else? I think I am. I Maybe Exelon is not what I've had. Anyway, I'm excited for it. Um, yeah, whatever. Monday. Did I say it was Monday? It's Monday, my dudes. If I didn't say it's Monday, it's Monday. Tuesday, my dudes. Uh, May 7th. You are strong enough to make your own decision. Zzz decisions and forever second guess them uh, <clears throat> that's lame at some point you just gotta accept whatever decisions you made you know what you can't change it um, one package from limited run games and I think it might be too big to open under the camera because um, it will bump the camera and I don't like to do that um. Ah. You cut badly, good sir. All right. It's a uh, Maniac Mansion. It's the PC version. Um. Um, Longtime viewers will note that uh, I did get the collector's edition of the NES version of the game a little bit ago, and uh, this is the PC version, um, which they actually did it in the, the same big box style as they did the, uh, you know, some of these other Lucasfilms ones that Limited Run has done. Um, let's uh, let's open it real quick because I'm very curious. What is inside? Look at that. Game and the soundtrack all on one. Do they also include a uh, USB key? Because I... Um I no longer have a CD player, a DVD, CD, whatever, Blu-ray player. Um, my current computer, I honestly, I forgot to add one. <laughs> and I, I could get an external one, I just, I have not done that yet. Um, but if there's a USB key, which I think this might be, with the, with the game on it, then I can use it without... Yep, there it is. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I can use it without the um, the disc. Um, a microwave thing. Anyway, I had a little big mess. Tuesday, my dudes. The 8th of May. Wednesday, my dudes. 8th of May. You are a natural-born problem solver primarily of the ones you create, but still. Now, I, I, I solve other people's problems as well. That's kind of what I do. Two packages, one of which is a little controversial. Um, let's open the one that's not controversial, or at least I don't think it is. Um, I also don't know what it is. It's from Red Art Games. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Red Art has not been doing a great job of telling me when stuff is shipping. So it is always a surprise. Yeah, they really do like these little... Um, <laughs> lanyard things. I need... I really I really need to find a place to put them. Uh, because... It's... It's become a problem. I've got quite a few of these stupid things. Eh. There you go. All right, Planet Cube. This is some sort of retro platformer um, that I don't remember much about. 
other than, hey, that looked like it was fun. Ooh, it's a rag indie. Oh, 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 this is their, their, um, isn't this like their in-house, like, we're going to be publishers now kind of a thing? Um, I think so. I could be wrong. All right, let's look at the next box. The next box is the controversial one. This is from Limited Run Games, and I will explain why it is controversial once I get it open. Ah, yes, hit the camera. Okay, shirt. And that's just that. Got it. Oh, all right, why is this controversial? Well, it's controversial because this is a 3DO game. Um, and here's a 3DO shirt. Oh, dude. <laughs> Love that. All right, I'm going to wear that. Um, so it's controversial because uh, Limited Run Games with... Uh, I don't know if it was this one specifically that people discovered or if it was their previous one. Um, I, I The previous one of mine seems to work fine. So if it is a problem with other people, I apologize. I'm sorry, but it doesn't seem to affect me and it might affect me here or might not. Anyway, the controversy is that um, uh, in making these uh, 3DO games... Uh, these re-released of 3DO games, they have been um, stamping them out in in uh, CDRs, like low quality, just CDRs, as opposed to like you know going and doing the proper CD production thing. And uh, why that's a problem is because um, the 3DOs, there's first of all, there's a ton of different 3DOs out there, and they all interact differently and generally poorly with CDRs. So the, the point is, is that if you burn it on a CDR, there's a very good likelihood that it will not run on your 3DO. And so it, why this is controversial is that, um, like they didn't announce that they were going to be putting them on CDRs. You kind of expect it to be this kind of premium thing. Um, and yet it's coming in these cheap CDRs and to make matters worse, it's not working on a lot of people's 3DOs. So uh, they were basically caught doing this. Um, and they've admitted, they said it was an oversight, but, you know, let's face it, <laughs> there was a very purposeful decision to make that they made to, to use CDRs. Um, they knew what they were doing. They just didn't do the proper research to discover if it was going to even be a problem. They probably have like a single 3DO system to test it on and it works fine on that, but without testing it on the wide variety of 3DOs that are out there, you're not going to be certain. So when in doubt, stamp it out on real proper, authentic, professionally done CDs. Um, anyway, they, they've promised to make it right. Um, but this one right here, is probably a CDR because uh, this shipped before the controversy um, became known. Because the controversy, like basically this has come out with the last couple of days as of the time of this recording. So, um, so yeah, this might not work on my system and hopefully they will make it right and uh, send another one because, at least send a replacement CD. Because uh, I... I did want to play D. I think I've got, I think I've got D. Oh, I do. See, I have, I have D for the Sega Saturn. So I have technically played this game before. Um, but I, obviously I wanted the 3DO version. So when they announced that, hey man, we're doing a 3DO re-release of D, I was on board. And now I'm a little bummed that it's just a CDR. But hopefully they'll make it right. Anyway. Wednesday, my dudes. Ah, a little bit too much gasoline on the the old fire there. Thursday, my dudes. Uh, May 9th. Challenge yourself each day and every day. Oh, challenge yourself each and every day. Maybe even try to use that analog clock thingy. Dude. All right. I'm an old guy. I'm Generation X. I was born in the 70s. So you'd think I would be all on board with digital with analog clocks. But you know what? Fuck analog clocks. 
Uh, they, fuck them. It's an it's a wholly inferior way to tell time, and it's it's a fucking nightmare. I can do it. I don't like doing it, and I think that in 2024 we shouldn't have to do it. The only time I should ever be looking at a digital clock to really find out what time it is is when it's a zombie apocalypse and the only thing left are like uh, analog clocks you have to like wind up because there's no power. And in those situations, I don't really need to know exactly what the time is. You know, I can fucking look at the sun and be 100% uh, 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 have all the information I need about what the time is. Fuck analog clocks. That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, one package. It's a really big package. It's from Limited Run Games. Um, I looked it up this morning, so I knew what it was. But I have done work and had a busy day, and I don't fucking remember what it is. I am swearing a lot today. I apologize if you don't like swearing. But you know what? If I don't like swearing, uh, fuck it. Get used to it. It's sweary. It happens. Uh, this is a big box, and it's kind of ridiculously big. Um, three things in here. Uh. Alrighty. What are these things? So, uh, Repugnant Bounty, which is a Game Boy... Dude, I think this is a Game Boy Advance game. Or not. I can't quite tell. It's a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy Advance. Um, I don't remember anything about this. <laughs> but I will always and forever buy new Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games. Um, looking at it, that looks like, right there, that looks like uh, the, 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 the bubble doors in uh, Metroid. So if I were to guess, if I were to roll the old dice... I would guess this is a Metroidvania. Uh, but I don't remember what it is. I didn't look it up this morning, so whatever. Um, this one is stupid. <laughs> uh, this is Thumper, the PlayStation 5 edition. Um, why is this stupid? This is a game that's much better played in VR. I don't have PlayStation VR 2. Um, I pre-ordered this thinking that I would have it by now, and I don't have it. So, yeah, I'm a dummy. Um... Apparently not a lot of people have gotten a PlayStation VR 2. It's my understanding it's kind of failing, which is too bad, but it also means that I probably will be able to pick it up cheaper. Um, and then the last thing is a vinyl uh, of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle soundtrack. I think this is... Uh, I think this is the arcade, the original arcade game soundtrack. No, this is the NES soundtrack. So, so <laughs> this is somebody plugged in an NES to the thing that was... <laughs> recording for this record and uh, just played the, the music, which is funny. I don't know why. I don't know why I get these. I get them, though. Uh, I, I also, they, they've got another one that's shipping. It's another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soundtrack game soundtrack. I don't know which game it is. I At one point I did, but they've got another one coming because, again, I'm an idiot. Whatever. Thursday, my dudes. <laughs>